Hey, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Maddie, and today I'll be sharing my TBR for the biannual Bibliothon. I feel like I haven't talked about books or reading in so long. It's just been all anime on my channel lately. I have not been reading lately. Still, I am still in a major reading slump and that's also the reason why I have not been talking about books lately at all. I just I don't have anything to talk about because I'm not reading but in this video I still want to share my TBR for the Biology Bibliothon because it is coming up. It is happening this month in July from the 11th to 17th or something like that. I know it starts on the 11th and I am sad to find out that apparently this is the last biannual Bibliothon ever at or at least for a while. They're calling it the final biannual bibliothon. I'm like, what? I'm kind of sad. I'm actually really sad. This has been one of my favorite readathons since I joined it. And it's so sad to know like there's not gonna be another one ever again. Or are they just taking a break? Kind of made it seem like they're just ending it. Like this is the last round. Cannot believe it. So because of that, I knew I could not miss this readathon. And the problem is it came at the worst time. So the week that it's happening is when I'll either be taking a trip to Texas or I'm moving to Texas. Either one of those two. I don't know if I'm moving there yet. Depends on how things how things go because I have a little problems that are allowing me not to move. But either way, I'm at least going to visit there. I'll be visiting my mom and so I'll be on vacation while the readathon is going on but I'm still making myself participate because I am not missing out on the last round I will force myself to read whenever I can I will be taking a plane ride there so I'll at least have time to read on the plane and I think if I read at least a few pages each night then I'd be satisfied based on the fact that I haven't read in so long if I get some reading done if I just take like a half hour to maybe an hour each night to just read before I go to bed while on vacation I'd be so happy with that and I think it's possible so I'm still going to try to participate and I am also going to try to complete the challenges or at least some of them so with with that huge introduction, an unnecessary introduction out of the way, why don't we just get right into my TBR? So, the group book for this readathon is Aurora Rising, and I believe this is by Jay, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, is that right? I think so. I, I feel like I've heard of this book, but I, I have no idea what the cover looks like at all. I have no idea what it's about, so I honestly don't know if I'm going to read it, um, but we'll just see. We'll, we'll see. I probably won't. I probably won't, though, but. You know, I'm just going to mention it just in case I do. Alright, so the first challenge is to read an adult book, and I chose The Bride Test by Helen Huang. I think I put this on my TBR for the Romance-a-thon from last month, which I didn't participate in because, you know, reading slump. Um, so I'm putting it on this TBR because I do really want to read this one. This is a sequel or spin-off book to The Kiss Quotient, which is a book that I really enjoyed. So I definitely want to continue on to the next one. It came out in May and I still have yet to read it and I've been really looking forward to it. Next challenge is to read a graphic novel. So I am in the middle of a manga series that I've been mentioning quite a bit on my channel lately and that is Twinkle Stars by Natsuki Takia. I have read the first three volumes and right? No, I read, I've read the first two volumes and half of the third volume. So I need to finish the third volume and I probably will finish it before the readathon and then move on to volume four. So yeah, this is a pretty long series. I think it's like 10 volumes, so I have a lot of catching up to do. So I at least want to knock out two volumes during this readathon. And this series can also fit the challenge to read a predicted five star read. And I've been giving these volumes five stars. So I feel like the next volume I read will be a five star. So it's going to be a five star prediction. So I'm going to count volume four and five for two challenges and that'll knock those off. So it's perfect. Next challenge is to read a book based on its cover. So I still don't really know what this challenge means. <laughs> like, do you pick a book that's cover applies to the book? Doesn't every book cover apply to the actual book? I mean, I guess unless it's a 
book cover that has text. I guess it wanted, I don't know, it was kind of confusing to me. So I just picked a book that cover that I feel like represented the book well. So I went with The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I've put this book on so many TBRs it's not even funny. And I have read half of it a long time ago and then I never finished it because I got into a slump and <laughs> didn't want to read it anymore. Not because it was bad but just because I didn't feel like reading. So I'm going to try to read it during this readathon. Cross my fingers. I've been meaning to get to it for so long. And I love Holly Black. I loved The Coldest Girl in Cold Town so much. So I feel like I'm going to really enjoy The Darkest Part of the Forest. I just need to pick it up already. Next one is Free Choice. So pick any book you want. And it'll count for that challenge. Which is, you know, that's a good one. That's a good one to have. Gives me a lot of freedom to choose. So I chose Lover Awakened by J.A. Ward. Another book that I keep putting on TBRs and not reading because I haven't been reading lately. This is the third book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. At this point, I feel like I've forgotten so much about this series that I I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this one. Maybe there's like a summary online of the first two books that I can read just so I can refresh my memory on what happened, but I don't know. I'm at least going to try to get through it and see if my memories on the series come back to me. Hopefully they do, but I have been really enjoying this series and I've been meaning to pick up the rest of the books because there's so many books in this series I need to catch up on. So I'm going to try to get to it during, the, during this readathon and I hope I do. Next challenge is to read a book by an author who you've never read before. So I chose The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This is also a graphic novel, so it could count for the graphic novel challenge, but... This is a library book, so I need to read it as soon as possible. And it's by an author that I've never read before, so I thought I'd count it for this challenge. Um, don't quite know what this one is about. All I know is it's about the princess and the dressmaker because it's in the title. So I guess I'll find out what it's about as I read it. But I mean, the art looks really cute, so I'm excited for it. Next challenge, read a book you were really excited for but never picked up. And I have so many books that can count for that. The one I picked is Royals by Rachel Hawkins. This book came out last year and I was so excited to read it when it came out last year because um, I love this author's series, the, why am I forgetting the name? Rebel Bell, the Rebel Bell series. <laughs> I love that series so much. So I really wanted to give this one a try and I just haven't yet and a year has passed and I still have not read it. So I'd really love to read it during this readathon. In fact, I think this is going to be the first book I try during this readathon because I really, really, really want to read it. So I'm going to try to get to it. And the last challenge is to read one of the host's five star reads. I picked Every Harder Doorway by it's Shannon. I think it's Shannon McGuire. This one, I think if I can remember correctly, it is Kelly from Kelly's Book Spills five-star book. So I love her. I love her channel. So I'm glad to read one of her favorite books. I also chose this one because it's really short. So I feel like I'd be able to easily read it and read it quickly for this readathon. It's the perfect book to read during a readathon because it's short. So I'm excited to get to it. I've been he hearing so much about this book for years ever since it came out. It's still so hyped up so it has to be good. So that is my TBR for the biannual bibliothon and basically my entire TBR for July. I'm not making a July TBR just because my slump has been so bad. I've been on a reading slump since April I think. It's just been so bad and honestly I will be completely honest. I think the reason for that is because as you might have seen, I've been transitioning over to anime so much. I've been just so focused on anime that I haven't given time to reading at all. It's just, I get in these phases where I'll be, my interest will go into something else. And then the previous thing that I was always so interested in was a hobby I did every single day will be on the back burner and will just like fade to the background. That happens so much to me. And unfortunately, that was the case with books anime took over and books got pushed to the wayside but I do really want to read really really bad so I think what I'm gonna do before the readathon is I'm going to reread a book because rereading my favorite books helps me get out of slumps so much so probably within the next few days or maybe even tonight if I really feel up to it I'm going to reread one of my favorite books and 
the one I have planned is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. That's a book that I read last year and I just adored it so much and I've been thinking about rereading it recently. So I think I'm going to give that one a reread just to prepare myself before the readathon, get in the habit of reading. Reading one of my favorite books will help me get pumped for reading again. So that is my plan. All right, I feel like I've rambled so much in this video. I am so sorry about that, but I guess I just missed talking about books. So I wanted to, I had a lot to say because I miss talking about books so much. I love books. Yeah, so. Hopefully this will be a great reading month, and hopefully I'll be able to read as many books as I can during the buy the movie thon Let me know if you're participating in this readathon, what books you'll be reading, if I mentioned any books that you've read and adored, let me know your thoughts on them. And if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more bookish related videos and anime videos, and I'll be back really soon. Bye!